Well, good morning. It's almost four o'clock. Well, got my T-shirt on. Deport Trump. <laughs> Still can. <laughs> but anyway, um, um, uh, like um, I was listening to um the Paul Mooney and it, like and um. I thought I was going to go to sleep after listening to him, but he was funny. But he but he brought up some excellent point. I know they, they say Paul Mooney's, or, oh, well, he talks racist. But it, this, I don't know how somebody that is a product of racism, it, it can't be affected in their vocabulary and um, um, your actions. That, you know, uh, me being a black female, I know that, you know, like just being a female, there's certain behavior that you that is appropriate for men, but not for women, and you know, and vice versa. And so, you know, you sort of, you know, you 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 fit in a custom uh, uh, um, uh, in this country of acting a certain way. And they have different cultures and different. Because I I was looking at the Arabs and listening to. How they 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 um, um, think about women and interacting with women, and you could tell that they're very dangerously been affected by the war and the propaganda that's that is uh, 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 used to keep them uh, in that mindset. Because like um, you you know like looking at, at Paul Mooney listening to the North Dakota uh, um, digit, uh, um, uh, people um, trying to keep all our water um, cleaner um, by their efforts to stop the pipeline and and the the Trump election and all this of course it is uh, almost it's 355 almost four o'clock at night so <laughs> that's when these I guess Type. But it, it, it remind me of, um, um, it, it, well, I don't want to, like, like, basically, like, um, how the, how war has affected even the United States, because, like, um, in, in New York and, uh, in Hell's Kitchen and, uh, in, in, in most of the boroughs, and uh, uh, even upstate, you know, uh, immigrants were brought over after every war, and um, there, there's stories of how, well, people survived in in these war, and one of the main things that it seemed that it was very important to get the mindset in such a way is the sort of dividing and conquer. Even dividing a small nuclear such as the family, and, you know, and because like if they, and, and you, and, and like, well, there's this one, like a story they, they uh, the, the family, they, they came over, I think after, I don't know if it was, they came over during, Somewhere between World War One and World War Two, uh, but they was in Europe and there's a you know war uh, um, uh, problem and, um, and because of the war uh, roads and um, other ways of transportation for food and uh, and, and supplies were blocked uh, you know because of you know bombing and Troops, you know, like uh, shooting people and um, mines on the roads, and you know, regular war going on over there. Big war, World War One and World War Two. And um, in when they brought over Caucasians that were, you know, came over from that war, and like you hear about vets being. <laughs> excuse me, post-trauma from um, coming from war where the people were traumatized even more. Like, if you could imagine, 
you know, like the, the women, like, you know, like being raped and uh, um, even the men, you know, um, um, you know, a lot of times like, like, you know, like, a, a, you know, like some, like some of the, the boys or whatever, or they try to make money. They would help the soldiers, whatever, like, because uh, they knew the area and whatnot. And a lot of times, you know, like, uh, well, anyway, these these soldiers that was raping, uh, uh, pillaging, uh, uh, and killing came to the United States. Um, and, and, you know, like, you could, like, and I, that's probably why a lot of white Americans, uh, probably scared of the terrorists, because when they came to the United States, like, um, it, it, um, over, the, the, the behavior that they had during the war was still the same, but the most important thing that they did during the war was they had to, in a way, belittle women, because, like, if once you, you have the people, like, disrespecting the women, you have them, uh, you, you get a, a, a certain uh, 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 self-hate, you know, because they associate, and you bond with your mom, or you associate with your mom, or, or, or this is your early uh, examples of, you know, what you um, mimic off of, uh, because that's, you know, that, that, that's your life. The most important thing is food, clothes, and shelter. Yeah. It, it bonds even, you know, uh, even farther. It makes, you know, once that realization that they depend it. But, it, you know, and, and a lot of these women, you know, if you're getting raped or whatnot, um, they went into blackmail and espionage. And, you know, they had families. And, but anyway, so um, they, they, they came to um, the United States and... Um, 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 there was, a, um, in, um, Manhattan, they, they, um, they came there, I guess it was after World War II, the, 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 the people that came off of Ellison Island, and, like, the way they had it, like, um, they had, like, turf, like, um, lards or whatever, can whatever they want, they, they, whatever, I can't remember the other name they called it, but, like, different areas, like, uh, it, it, these guys would control that area, and if a woman, you know, like, if she said she was a widow, but she had a child, or she was sick, or whatever, they put her out in prostitution, and, um, um, there was, um, uh, the story I heard about, um, that it was, that it was important, because, like, when they, if they went to, like, a new area, like, in Africa, in World War One, they, like they like the more primitive as they called it or the indigenous people of that area um before they brought christianity before they you know brought war and the banks you know because you know it was all about you know them uh them coercing them out of their it is bringing capitalists it was bringing it was bringing it was making it ended up like their first thing they could do is cap was coming out but anyway but the but the first thing they had to do was uh belittle the woman shame the woman uh lower her down because uh this brought you know um in such an anxiety in a person and um uh you know you can see in the united states um like what i'm trying to say is like what they did with the welfare system, like like the woman had a baby, and you know they needed a man to have this baby, but if she wanted welfare, the man couldn't be there, the father couldn't be there, so uh, that was a part of the, um, they, so when they entered these areas like in Africa where they were going in for the, the oil, the gold, and other minerals in World War One, and there was also in their World War Two, and they're still there, but um, um, and one of the ways they, they would do that is you kill off all the elders. You know, like you can see down in the Middle East, they talk about they have a, a, a bigger population uh, of teens than they have elders right now. 
and uh, of, of of children under uh uh uh, uh the teenage you know younger um but once they do that the information they give this child this child could think that this information is all is factual and always you know this is the way it's always been like if they rouse them and um you, you know and um but uh so that that's all they had to do was really destroy the image of the, the woman to have them disrespect the and you can see that a lot uh now in our society but there's this one story this um um he um uh his the, the family was farmers um and i think they was like outside of um someplace weird between germany uh, 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 Australia, or I don't know that area very well, but but it's like somewhere between Germany and Switzerland around that area. Um, can't really think the name escapes me. Around. But anyway, they were just basically farmers, and um, 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 when the war came, uh, like troops came through there, uh, tanks came through there, and they just like destroyed their um, ability to to keep their you know farm business going to cross because um, it just tore up the uh, and they they wasn't able to go out it was an active war zone or whatever and um, the 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 oldest son they, they ended up coming like uh, somehow getting getting to the United States but the oldest son um, during the the war, when he was growing, you know, uh, you know, he he knew a lot about you know the animals, slaughtering animals and animals and whatnot to eat, and um, he he got a taste for. I guess they didn't they like the militaries took their animals, animals ran away, but he ended up getting a taste for humans somehow. And one of the, the the tells they could tell that he had a taste for human is because they, they get like a giggle, they say. You know, like they'll like, if you ever see like, um, example, uh, is like on those pirate movies when they find a guy that's been on a, a batted island and he giggles. Well, anyway, that, that's one of the, the things. It's sort of like a mad um, cow disease, brain disease that causes, you know, like a human. But anyway, but people would, they so hungry, or they had a problem. Caucasian people was eating people. They, they did an experiment on a little island where, after they slaughtered most of the adults, um, like they they the the soldiers there ate them and say that's how you know when we that's how we show our victory by eating human, just to see if these uh, young kids would take that. Oh yeah, this is our tradition. And yeah, if you get them young enough without any any like you know, and you just and you and you and you uh, jeopardize and, and uh, 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 rape uh, and um, belittle the woman first, you know, uh, shame, you know, you shame the woman and, and you shame the whole uh, uh, generation, um, and um, you know, like oh well, if these men are you know overly sex. And they just and they they just rape the woman, you know. Like you'll get some some women that are, when they're if they're if they're young enough and they get them young enough, they'll think this is the only way, and and they'll be the best little whores, you know. Opposed to you get somebody that that had some knowledge on how they was living before. Well, anyway, so he came to the United States and um he um was eating people, sort of like that, uh, Guthrie Gomber guy, excuse me, <laughs> a sinus problem, but anyway, um, and, and it went on for a while, his, you know, the family, like, they covered up, they still had an extended, you know, extended family, and they ended up having, a, a, a both of the, um, his parents, parents, uh, came along, and he had some aunts and uncles, and they tried to cover them up because now they're going to be in the United States and, you know, they're Caucasian 
and everything was geared for them to make money. I think they ended up getting like some type of a, a loan to they they started their own um, little butcher, you know, uh, um, and they. Um, uh, but anyway, so so th that was sort of the example of some of the people that we have brought over World War One and World War Two. They they were damaged by war and um, affected by war. So um, we and they was able to teach their children a different history, like the, the Caucasian kids, you know. Because, like, you know, like, the younger they are, you know what I'm saying, where they, they really think that um, it's okay what they're doing, like, in North Dakota, that they have some rights uh, uh, for whatever twisted reasons, you know, like, because, you know, uh, and, and, I, and I know, like, from my own experience with police, that they will, like, with that, with the, um, with shooting you with rubber bullets, by shooting you with the maze, by shooting you when it's below zero uh, 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 with water, that they they, they they just know if you do that to them, they they would there would be a massacre. You know what I'm saying? They would just go off and start shooting, you know, because what you what the the stuff that they that that is so grievous, it, it's so disrespectful, it, it, it's so shameful. It's humiliating, embarrassing that that type of behavior that you know that they they will not put up you know like but they want you to retolerate in a way like um like that guy that um that was eating people hit like he ended up like like really being like um I think he, um well he lost his mind and uh, but he became so suicidal because he was so grievous to his behavior you know and. Uh, and if you have been sexually and like physically abused as a child, and physically abused, we're talking about getting whooped. If, if, if you think like, oh, the way to discipline your child is for whooping them, you're causing trauma to his child. If, if, if you get, like, I don't know how, but if you get any type of uh, uh, a sexual arousement from your, from like, like looking at a child or whatever, and like, and you know, and there, I think there's some people get a difference between looking at like uh, respecting like the beauty and and like oh uh, the the you know like the cute you know I mean like I mean I I can look at a picture and like oh it's beautiful it's cute it's you know whatever sensual but it, it's not gonna anyway I guess people do Playboy made a lot of money so that's a bad example but. Well, I guess you still. You, you, anyway, there's a there's a place to where reality and um, uh, uh, imagination and and, and uh, cleverness and uh, 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 curiosity uh, uh, it, it belongs more so than uh, 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 just self gratification. And I think that that is part of the trauma. That happens to the people that don't come through a war zone or have to be uh, 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 have to put up with uh, police brutality or even that type of racist mentality because uh, um, their whole thing their their whole thing is they just want you to agree with them they they want you to agree with them that they that they that they have the right to be the way they are. And, and then when if they do come to realization, that's when a lot of times they become more hostile, it, uh, more violent, and and and, um, and like um, uh, I I really don't think that they that that that, that you could give them the humanity or uh, or the soul back the ones has been uh, so damaged and so disregarded. You know, uh, uh, and they've been so damaged as a child, and so I just hope that the people up in North Dakota uh, can stay strong because, uh, and you and you recognize you will recognize the same pattern, the same thing they do over and over and over again. They use the same 
the same routine it's all about being disrespectful being as shameful as they can be doing a, a morbid uh inhumane uh 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 stuff to, and their whole thing is they try to get you to, to react you know and you get a lot of this and that's a lot of uh, uh, uh i think that we, that we don't recognize that white folks came over here so traumatized uh w with war and you know it's a lot of times when people are hurting you know it's just like when kids they get whooped you know and they they they, they they've been um uh um punished in in such a way that it it, it just had caused them extreme um uh pain and um they they want to give pain you know hurt people want to hurt people because they because like that's all they know you know if your mom you know started whooping you before you could walk and talk you know you, you you're gonna hit you know what i'm saying because kids have a way you know like a, just you know with being very hands-on at very young in the first place so uh, um philly philly you know um and and you know like curiosity but you take the curiosity by you know this type of what you call discipline which is you know um so we have a society today that's only um where they use a religion uh uh where they use whooping where they they use sexual abuse uh they use tv you know like for propaganda uh as a way that to supposedly control but instead what we have is a disconnection of what you know what it what it really takes to uh to keep um our community you know people are not going to give up their gas they're not going to give up the cars even though like there are alternatives because the gas company is not going to allow it like here you know i tried to talk about getting solar panels and um windmills over here and right away the guy jumped on me and i noticed the, the other black people in the community the black people in the community are the results of these 400 years of oppression 400 years of them trying to make sense uh, uh of a society that doesn't um it, it, you know there's, there's no logic there's no logic with like trump talking uh, uh to uh, um uh, those foreign people um uh, on the phone we're not you know being debriefed we're not getting information we're not knowing it you know what i'm saying now i could tell he probably went into a lot of business deals like that that's why most of them uh fell and that's why he didn't pay his people because he didn't think his stuff out because i think the people that are around him the russians that are around him they don't really care about that as long as they can siphon dollars out so anyway i, I and he said that when he goes to north dakota they're going to let the pipeline in i think that that we that you know like i do think that that russia um using the the um that trader that they have over there um uh, um, did um, hack um, our our voting um, machinery stuff, and um, our, it did hack our electric college voting thing, whatever. And I think that you know, because Russia was very poor. Who was behind it? China. China said, as you can see, how poor Russia was. They shot down that that play, the Malaysia play, and you saw them. They were all like a bunch of uh, uh rats you know uh, 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 uh up in up in that plane just you know just taking everything they can you know uh you know because like it, it, and i'm not sure they didn't shoot that first down and then just drag the uh, uh, a plane card out and drop it off in the ocean somewhere you know just like okay you found a wing over here uh so but so that if, the, if if you if you could shoot down a passenger airplane for whatever excuse you want to use afterwards you thought it was something else or you, but you're just shooting down planes all willy-nilly regardless and then your people 
you know, in the midst of, you know, dead bodies splattering here, legs here, head there, arm there, foot there, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, little body parts all over the place. You're going in there, you're going in there, you know, in their wallets, you're going in their suitcase, and you're taking all this stuff. We know these people is real poor. So we know they'll do anything for a dollar. Look at Obama, she married Trump. Yeah, if she was a half a woman, she, she thought she was, she would have guided him to where he was in bankrupt with all that money and, and did something better with it, you know, anything he could have did better with, you know. He could have did a hedge fund against, before 2008 against, you know, um, a lot of, uh, anyway. He could have did a lot. He could have did a lot of things. He could have just set on the money a little bit and offshore, wherever he has his money at, it, it made interest. But instead, you know, we got, we, I think we have, a, a, we had, I think we have a man that whose family came from war, war type of thinking, stinking thinking. You know, I mean, if you're that shadow of a person, you think that, you know, like, oh, this, this woman is above us, this woman is below, she's out of your, she's out of your range, or she's out of your category, or whatever. Um, she, a bonka looked like she just was poor white trash. Just poor white European trash. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that now had a lot of plastic surgery. So, you know, she, you know, I, you, he could have got him a better looking American white woman, born right here in the USA. They came from a better family than that, anyway.